A WEST TENNESSEE COUNTY IS DEALING WITH A VOLUNTEER FIREFIGHTER SHORTAGE. AND OFFICIALS SAY IT'S A STATEWIDE ISSUE. WBBJ 7 EYEWITNESS NEWS REPORTER JORDAN HALL TALKS WITH FIRST RESPONDERS, HOPING TO SPARK THEIR RESIDENTS' DESIRE TO SERVE. FIRST RESPONDERS ALL ACROSS THE VOLUNTEER STATE KNOW THAT TERM WELL. Rural towns like Morris Chapel wouldn't have a team of responders if it weren't for their volunteer firefighters. It saves lives and property, so the more that, you know, more people we've got, the quicker they can react and get out. That's why signs like this one are going up all across Hardin County. An effort to add enough firefighters to man 22 fire stations currently in need of recruits. We have jobs for nearly everybody out there. We have retired people. We have young people. We have, uh, you know, a male, female. Hardin County isn't the only place in Tennessee looking for people to join the team. Chief Melvin Martin says out of more than 700 fire stations across the state, 70% are operated by volunteers. Across the U.S. and also in the state of Tennessee, the volunteers, the number of volunteers have been decreasing over the years. But Chief Martin hopes these signs will help spread the word. So the biggest thing that people say is they're wanting to help their neighbor. And if there's, you know, there needs to be somebody there to come help in the time of need, and that's that's what we do it for. Something residents say they're grateful for. There's lots of places that people can volunteer to do things in the community, so we hope more people would be involved. In Morris Chapel, Jordan Hall, WBBJ7 Eyewitness News. Chief Martin says no experience or training is needed. All of that will be provided by the fire department once community members sign up. To find out more, contact the Hardin County Fire Department.